Hey guys, back with part one of the Unity game series. Technically it's part two, but you know, did the intro video last time. So yeah, today I'm going to be showing you how to like, put objects into your game, pretty much. And we're going to be using a gun that I made. Yeah, it's terrible, I know. But, look, I made it up quick, in a couple hours. Yeah. There's a green part there. I'm not going to do any editing with it though. You can use whatever program you like really. I like to use SketchUp. If you're using SketchUp, this is if you're not using SketchUp, this is irrelevant to you. Okay, so I'm gonna go on file, export, 3D model. Then you wanna okay, my hand, hang on. name it whatever you want and then click export. I've already done that, so I'm not going to. Then you'll get that. Right now you're gonna need Autodesk FBX converter. And open that up. You are going to go add. You're going to find your DEAE file. Okay, I'm not actually going to do this, but you have to open up the opposite file, come there. And then you just click convert and it will convert it into a file that looks like this. Okay, the reason we have to do that is because Unity does not take DAE files, it only takes FBX files. Okay, so so now, the first thing we need to do, stick that in there, and that in there. Did I create the folders? No, I did not. Okay, so, the first thing I'm going to do is go create, folder, terrain, create, folder, scenes. So, we am put the terrain, no, the scene, sorry, into the scenes folder. And terrain, guess what, in the terrain folder. Don't see that coming at you. Okay. Now we've got that, we can make another one. Create, folder, texture. We're going to create, folder. Model walls. Okay, then, texture folder. We'll open that up, we're going to put show and explore. We could import these individually, but that would take too long. So you want to go wherever your textures are from where you exported the SketchUp file. There we go. Oops, oh. Oh. Let's drag it in there. This may take a while. I'm going to pause it until it's done. When that's done, We'll have this folder in here has all the textures you use. You're gonna need that, otherwise the model you put in is gonna be grey and boring and just terrible. So now you want to click Import New Asset. Go to wherever you exported your file. Oh, it's already in it. Find it. There you go. And if this works, got wait. works you'll have this. Well you actually have that, you'll have a different whatever your model is. I'm using a gun. Now if you did a gun like me, you're gonna want to use the gun. Pretty much aren't you? So I'm gonna go standard assets, character controller. I think last time we put one of these in, but I think last time it also like messed up all the saving. So things are different. I I think I might have repeated creating folders and put stuff inside folders as well. But oh well. Okay, yeah, we're good enough. This position isn't quite right, but all the terrain's over here, so you can't really move that. Just gonna have to remember his position. Just find him. Focus. And now I've got this guy, let's play. Okay, it's pretty dark, there's no lights. I need to put that back in. Yeah. We can't really do anything, just walk around and look at grass and trees and walk through trees. Yeah, and look at the big mountain I created, which is awesome. Okay, so I'm going to click that again. Okay, so now you want the gun. You want him to have a gun. Okay, so let's go onto the models folder again. Drag that and simply drag it onto the scene. Yeah, that's a bit big, so let's scale it down. Let's scale it down. Click that button there. 
put the box. Like that. Oops. Remove it to the right position. Let's check if it's in the right position. We've got a game view. Okay, it's not. It's completely wrong position. Move it up. Move it right. It's not quite right. Okay, yeah. I see it means it doesn't look too good in the game, but it's only temporary. Okay, so now if you click play, we have the gun there, but it doesn't quite follow us. We can move around, we can jump. It's not going anywhere, it's just going to stay there. I think we should move back so I can see the back of the arm, couldn't you? Back in the scene. Move it back a little bit more. Okay. Now, what we want to do is go first to controller, click that little arrow there. And do is click this, hold it, and drag into the main camera. Okay, click the arrow again. Click play this time. And we have a gun. It's a bit low down, so we might change the position of it a little bit. But yeah, this is for now our game. We are walking under the gun. We have grass all over the mountain side. That needs fixing. Okay, so let's move this gun up a little bit. Okay, now we have grass all over the mountainside. That wasn't too good. I got rid of it last time as well, but the files got all muddled up. I don't know what happened. But yeah, so I want to just click on that again. Click on it. Zoom out. Hold shift. Just delete all of it. There we go. Green back of the mountain, not too good. Okay, again, just delete. Make it a bit bigger. I'm gonna hold shift the whole time, otherwise you'll be planting more grass down, and that's not what we want. Okay. So now we have a guy with a gun. You can't do much with the gun. We'll fix that next time. Okay, so let's have a look again. Go have a look at the mountain. A little bit of grass there, but that's not too bad. Uh, we still have a little bit, but I can sort that out between videos, really. But yeah. Let's play again. I think that's all for this episode. I'll see you next time. Bye.